Uh, Olajide is on the call. So, Olajide, please, you can hit the record button as we start. Thank you. Rashid, no, yeah, over to you. <laughs> Hello, Rashid, you are muted. We can't hear you. Hello? Yeah. Can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. It's 3 p.m. in Nigeria. So uh, regardless of wherever you are joining from, my name is Rashid. Uh, whether you, good morning, good evening, wherever you are joining from, um, we we are line to, online today to bring to you our new series, and we shall be looking at understanding SQ Hub. So for the purpose of people that are joining for the first time, this is Niger Data Platform, formerly known as Power BI Niger. And uh, what this community stands for is giving back to people, you know, in tech community, you know, making people understand and know more about every, um, every Microsoft tools. So we're bringing on board SQL today based on high demand because we sent a pool and you can all see the result of the pool that a lot of people wanted SQL. So, um, I'll be bringing on board today our speaker. We all know him, Mr. Oje Gifolari. He's the Microsoft MVP, and um, he is the one that will be opening the floor. But I need to speak a little about him. He is an RDBMS consultant. He has been on this field for the past 20 years, and he has involved himself in several projects. Just name it. Is it Dynamics 365, C Sharp? And what, so one of the core areas of specialty is uh, um, ERP implementation. Just mention it, and it will be taking us through MSQL today. And the topic we shall be looking at is understanding MSQL. You know, you, 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 you might be hearing what is MSQL, what does it really stand for? Yeah, is it, you know, English interpretation is structured query language. But it goes beyond that. What does it stand for? How do we install it? You as a newbie that is coming into tech world, how can you make use of this tool? If you want to, you know, go into, if you want to, you know, extract information, you know, what what does it, you know, I, I, I will not say much on what it, what it's going to do for you. I will allow the speaker, you know, to do justice to it. But I just wanted to prepare your mind. This is just the first series. We are we have it just make sure that you are always in class on time. And I tell you, your time will, will be worth the while. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as I welcome the speaker of today's uh, uh, event, Mr. Ajay Folari, as we take in the podium to take us through understanding SQL. Sir, you have the floor, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Rashid. And we'll not be wasting much time. We have one hour on daily basis. So every Saturday we meet like this. So I'll be sharing my screen. Please confirm if you can see my screen. Share button. Share my entire screen. Okay, can somebody confirm you can see my screen? Can anybody see my screen? I can see your screen, sir. Okay, so thank you. So uh, let me take it to presentation mode. So we are actually Niger Data Platform as introduced by the moderator for today. And we're starting another series today. That is SQL Server. So what you're looking at today is understanding Microsoft SQL Server. We want to look at the first thing, the understanding, the overview, the background. And after this, we'll be looking at the installation process and the configuration so that by next Saturday, we'll take it further. So for those of you that don't know anything about SQL Server, you are powerfully welcome. This is starting from the beginning, very beginning, and it will be a foundation for you to scale up to any level of your choice. So 
myself, my name is Ayo Dejin Folarin. I'm a consultant at Jerry Computer Solution. I'm a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional on Data Platform. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. I'm an IT consultant, a VI developer, a trainer, and a speaker. So, Ayodeji is a Microsoft Certified Trainer, a BI Developer, Data Platform Evangelist, a data warehouse and dashboard slash business reporting experts. I have well over 23 years in the computing arena, and I focus majorly on data platform solution from Microsoft Azure and Office 365. And I've helped so many organizations to migrate their system to the cloud and also to get great insights in their data sets for the past 10 years. I'm passionate for doing some basic things around community engagement and teaching. So I speak locally and also on international platform. So today I'll be talking about one interesting topic called SQL Server. And as far as the community is concerned, I am one of the community leader in this Niger data platform. So this is a great community where we look at so many things. Now, what to look out for in this Microsoft SQL Server series? This series will run for about two to three months until we get to the end and we are all certified that yes, we can take this further. So we now pick the second booted for item during the pool. So I would like to appreciate our program manager. So Madam Anne, she has done a great job. She came up with the pool and that we should work. Let's follow the idea of, I mean, the request of people. So, and that's why this is coming to life today. So during the course of our two, three months event every Saturday, we'll be looking at the following things. Number one, we want to understand database concepts. We want to understand the installation of SQL Server and the configuration of SQL Server. Now, we want to understand the complete SQL statements, how we can make use of it to get data from the database. We also want to learn how we can use those where clause, the simple and the complex where clause. We want to see how we can work around sorting of our data using T-SQL, because we are talking about SQL Server here. We want to learn more about database design, normalization. We want to work around using join, the inner join, the left, the right, outer join, the full join, any form of join as far as we are concerned. We want to understand how we can relate with multiple tables. We want to see how you can use aggregate function within SQL. We want to learn how we can group data together clause. We want to also learn how we can filter our data using having clause. And also we want to look at subquery and CTEs. So if the content here, you feel like, wow, I can, can we adjust the content? Can we add to the content? Please feel free. You can always connect with our program manager. Her name is Han. She can share maybe on the chat. She can share a number. So she will add you to the WhatsApp platform. We have a platform WhatsApp where we interact and we communicate. So if you have questions, if you have ideas, suggestions to help the community, or you need help in your workplace, feel free to drop your request on that chat. The chat has lots and lots of professionals, qualified professionals that can quickly attend to your requests. So the agenda for today. We are just looking at three, four major things. Let's understand the database concepts. Let's look at the overview of Microsoft SQL Server. Let's learn how to get the installation and configuration done without issues. So today is to set the foundation, have a better understanding. And by next week, we build on what we already have. And also, I know there is a call 
Anne has been trying to see if you can get speakers. So if you are on this call and you know you're a great speaker, you're a public speaker, and you are very good in SQL Server, that's what we are doing at the moment, get in touch with Anne, our program manager. She can schedule you to feature in one of our section. Now to the business, what is SQL? SQL simply stand for standard. I mean, oh, there is a feedback from somewhere. Okay. Ah, I hope it's not from me. I hope it's not from me. Can we all mute? Sorry, is that is that okay now? Okay. I think it's so, fine now. Can go on, sir. Thank you very much. SQL is a standard language for assessing and manipulating database. So as far as we are concerned, we want to learn how we can easily assess a database. Number two, manipulate the content of a database. And that is what SQL stands for. Now, what is the meaning of SQL? SQL simply means structured query language. SQL simply means structured query language. It's a language used to query, to interact with a database. SQL lets you access and manipulate a database. SQL became a standard for the American National Standard ANSI in year 1986. So it became a standard for communicating, interacting with RDBMS database. And also the International Organization for Standardization, it became a standard there as well in the year 1987. So since 1986, 1987, we have SQL being used and it was being standardized across different platforms. Now we have different databases that you can use to interact with SQL. So one of them is what you are going to deal with majorly in this section, and that is Microsoft SQL Server. So this is one of the most powerful database we have out there. Now let's talk about the meaning of RDBMS. What exactly is RDBMS? RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. So RDBMS is the basis for what? SQL. And for all modern database systems such as Microsoft SQL Server, IBM DB, Oracle, MySQL, even Microsoft Access, which most of us will add them on our system. It's also a good example of database and is a good way to start learning more about RDBMS. But our focus in this training is none of this, but just one Microsoft SQL Server. Now, the data in RDBMS is stored in database objects to pay attention. Big data being stored in any of the RDBMS mentioned up there is using one object called what? Table. Your table stays within your database. Now, what exactly is a table? A table is a collection of related data entries, and it consists of columns and rows. Most of us, we are used to Microsoft Excel, where we have our rows and our column. A table in any RDBMS looks like this. It helps you to organize your data in hello, rows. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yes. We are still seeing yes. your last screen. What is SQL? We are not seeing your oh. screen. Oh, sorry. No, I, think... I can see what is RDMS. I can see RDMS. Oh, okay, okay. good. Maybe, Rashid, maybe, can you maybe, can see RDMS. refresh your page? I think it's your oh, page. Okay. Okay, okay. okay, thank you very much for that confirmation. 
So, Mr. Rashid, the moderator, you can quickly come out of the meeting and join again because your part is so key here. Okay, so when, when we are talking about RDBMS, RDBMS helps us to store our data in the database as objects. And one of the key objects is table. When we talk about table, a table is a collection of related data entries. And it consists of what? Rows and columns. So these are rows and each of these, we call them column, just like your Microsoft Excel. For better understanding, every table is broken up into smaller entities called field. In a table, each of these box is referred to as what? Fields. And a column also contains a special entity that can help you hold related field objects, which we are going to see shortly. A field is a column in a table that is designed to maintain specific information about every record in the table. A record also called a role. A record, any information on a role is actually a record. This is a record and as a role. So a record, also called a role in each individual entries that exist in a table. A record is a horizontal entity in a table, horizontal. Why a column is a vertical entity in a table that contains all information associated with a specific field in a table. So let's now come to the business. We've talked about RDBMS. We've seen that there are many of them out there. Microsoft SQL Server is one of the best and the leading database in, in, in use today. So most of us on this call, you bear witness with me that in our organization, we are actually using Microsoft SQL Server. Now, as a database analyst or specialist, there is need for you to understand and to know how to manipulate all this. Please, as I'm going on, if you have any question, drop your question on the chats. The moderator will help collate, and during the question and answer session, we're going to treat all of the questions. Please feel free to drop all your questions. Don't wait till the end. Drop them as they come to your mind on the chat, or you can note them so that with this section, the series is to build all of us. And at the end of the series, I expected us to have lots and lots of professionals on SQL platform in Nigeria or West Africa as a whole. Now, let's just see. Microsoft SQL is a database management system developed by Microsoft. It is a software product that is used to store, one, manage, two, three data, as far as by any of the users. Now, what exactly is Microsoft SQL Server used for? I have mentioned three of them. They keep data for you, they manage, and they help you bring out the information when you need them. So let us look at SQL Server. I mean, they support data type by SQL Server. SQL Server supports lots and lots of data type from your integer to your float to your decimal to date to time to test and so many other ones, Boolean and so on. Bits, images and lots and lots of data objects can be stored under different data types. So what are the features? Why is SQL important? Why do we need to go for Microsoft SQL Server? Why do I need to learn Microsoft SQL Server? SQL Server provides a wide range of features that makes it a popular choice amongst database administrators and developers. This includes one, scalability. SQL Server can handle large amount of data and can scale up 
can scale up or down depending on the need of an organization. So scalability is cool. If you are using Microsoft Excel to organize your data in the organization, by the time you start keeping your information, when you get to 1 million, 48,576 rows, Excel eats the end of all the records it can keep for you. And if you go with Microsoft Access, by the time you are getting to 25 million or 5 gigabyte database size, Microsoft Access start giving you challenges, issues. But SQL Server, even if you want to keep just 10 lines, you want to keep 10 billion lines, it's actually scalable. It can manage anything for you as far as helping you to organize your database. Number two, security. SQL Server provide robust security features that ensure that the confidentiality, the integrity, the availability of the data stored in it. That is one of the major features of SQL Server. It's not just an open data source or a database they can easily crack and get into. It has a lot of security features. You can grant access to people. You can even tell somebody you can only view, you cannot even write to the database, and so many other things. So the security feature is super. Now, high availability. When we talk about database that a company can rely on and close both eyes, sleep without getting disturbed, this is one of the database, and that's why most organizations are going for SQL Server. SQL Server supports various high availability options, such as clustering, mirroring, and always on availability groups to ensure that databases are always available. So that is another key feature. Number four, business intelligence. Most RDBMS don't really have this feature. This is another powerful feature we have in SQL. SQL Server includes feature for business intelligence. The BI expert on the call, this is your part, such as reporting services. I want to build a standard reporting service. I can actually leverage on SQL Server, the BI part. Analysis services. Most of us on this call, we are Power BI guru. We do data modeling. So we do visualization. Reporting services is your visualization part. Analysis services is your modeling part. Integration services. Integration services is your ETL. Where you extract your data, you transform it. You can actually do all of this within SQL Server because of the BI module, BI part, BI feature that is on it, which enable organization to analyze your data and make informed decision. So I hope maybe the business, the program manager can actually consider this in one of our in one of our classes as we move on. So BI with SQL Server is another cool part. Now, integration with Microsoft, with other Microsoft products. Now, this is another great feature. Most of us, we use Microsoft tool in our day-to-day -day operation. Most especially Excel, Microsoft Excel. Some of us use SharePoint. Some of us use Power BI. This SQL Server easily integrates with all these tools without stress. So we now move on. So the next part, we've seen SQL generally, we've seen RDBMS generally, we've seen SQL Server, we understand what it's all about. Now let's look at the version and edition of SQL Server. SQL Server comes in different version. So we have different version like two, 2005, 2008, 2008 release to R2, we have 2000 and 2012, we have 2014, we have 2016, SQL Server 2017, SQL Server 2019. So, and I sent a link earlier on our WhatsApp platform. Please, if you are not on the WhatsApp platform, the link can be shared here by one of the organizers. We have Rashid, we have GD, we have Han. They can share the link on this platform to join the WhatsApp WhatsApp, what's it called? Group. So we shared this link earlier for you to download one of these versions. And also, we have different editions. When we talk about edition, we have different editions in SQL Server. 
one of the edition is the express edition, which we'll be using at the course of this series. The express edition is actually a free edition. I remember on the platform, somebody asked about license. Don't worry, if you are running express edition, Microsoft will not disturb you because it is actually free. So that's the one I will recommend and I will take to download. You will do whatever with it. After this edition, another edition that is more detailed, robust, or the standard edition. Now, when we talk about standard edition, this is a more robust version of SQL Server, far better than Express, but it comes with a price. So it is not free. So if you know you want to go for and you can afford it, so you can go to Microsoft site and look at the price. You can always get the standard edition. But most organizations, they run standard edition or the enterprise edition. So if you are using SQL Server in the office, you are actually using one of these two. So now apart from the standard and enterprise, the next one we have here is a developer edition. Developer edition is, I say it is free, but it's most used in production environment. It is actually a full version, just like your standard. It has everything you can think of, but as a developer, you can actually use this to build yourself, but it must not be used in production environment. Please, let us take note of that. So apart from developer edition, we have the SQL Server Web Edition. So most of these websites or hosting plan that we have, they are actually using the SQL Server Web Edition, where all their hosting plan here and there. I mean, all the clients that are easily connect to to store their database, to store their information. So we also have the BI edition. So the BI edition is another edition where we do things around SSRS, SSAS, and SSIS. So these are the basic edition we have. But in case you hear somebody mentioning some other edition, like the data center edition or the parallel data warehouse edition or the SQL Server managed instance edition. Please don't worry. There are other flavors, but they are not that common like the ones I've mentioned earlier. So we are going straight into the demo part of this training. And on the screen, I said we should download SQL 2019 Express Edition, and I provided a link for us on the group. And also, I said we should download the SQL Server Management Studio. We'll be using these two tools. Let me quickly talk about them. Most people, why they are challenged with SQL Server, whenever they want to download, they will see SQL Server Express, Standard, Developer, any of those versions I mentioned, they download it. But after downloading it, you've only downloaded the engine. It's like having a car. Now, having a beautiful car, but the only thing you downloaded, the first part you downloaded, is just the engine of the car, but you've not downloaded what we use to drive that engine, the body, the tire, all other parts. So the engine needs another part, which is the SQL Server Management Studio. That is the studio, the environment you will sit in to do all your manipulation on the database engine. So it's like the body of the car. Now you now have this and this together, then you can have a moving vehicle. So at this point, we cannot just download one of these and we think we are working. We need the engine, that's the database engine. And also we need the management studio to allow us interact, interface with the database. So, okay. So if there's any question before we go into the demo, please 
feel free to ask all your questions. If there's any question, can you just ask your question? Because we are going into the demo section now. Any question for me, Mr. Rashid? Hello, sir. Hi. So we have some Hello, Hello, questions. Yes. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear I can you. see the presentation okay. slides again. The presentation slides, okay, can you, you can see. It? No, I just, I just you... stop. I just stop the slide now. So the slide is back up. Can you see the slide? Re... It could be lag. It could be it's... network lag. Maybe there is a little lag. Okay. Because I can see Not it. Yet, okay. Okay, thank you very much. So, please, is there any question for me before we go to the demo section, please? No, for now, I didn't see any question on the chat room, except for someone okay. requesting for the slides, you know. Oh, requesting for the slide. Okay, yeah, the program manager will we, we, we make arrangements for us to get the slide on the WhatsApp group. So, please feel free to join us on the WhatsApp platform. The slide and the link to this video will be shared after this session. Thank you very much. So back to the business of the day. So I said we should download SQL Server. And for those of us that have downloaded SQL Server on your system before now, we'll be configuring the installation. I mean, we're doing the configuration together. And for those that have already configured, I want you to pay attention as we do this section together. Now, to download, let me just click on the link. Let me click on the link, just like any other person here. Okay, now this is the link we go to to download the latest version of SQL Server, the Express Edition. For download, you can actually look at the detail about the solution. You can look at the system. Can anybody hear me? Okay, please let's you. mute ourselves. If you are not speaking, you, you can mute me. yourself. Let's mute ourselves. Please. Okay. Thank you very much. You can go on, sir. Okay. So the system requirements. Uh, please, one of the organizers can help me mute the, the background noise. Thank you. So the system requirements, we should be looking at the following system requirements. So your RAM, your hard disk, otherwise you may have challenge installing the Express edition of SQL Server. The installation information is also there for you. So at this point, you can click on download. So 2019 is not like 2008, 2012 version that you download the full, the full MSI pack and you start installing. But in this case, it will just download for you. Let me hit the download button. It will download a launcher for you first. So when you have that, oh, I guess something is wrong with my network. Is this working? Okay. It will download the launcher. Thank you. So this is it. Let me click on open. If you click on open, it will take you to a place where it's going to guide you through the installation process. So now there is basic. There is custom. There is download media. Somebody may ask me, which of this one can I go for? It's all about you. Now, the basic is telling me that, look, download the basic features I need, majorly the database engine that we are talking about. So, and give me the default configuration. It will just help you set everything up and you, you are up and running. Number two, the custom. This will download the future for you, but during the installation, 
it's going to allow you go through the installation and configuration yourself. So you get to learn more if you go through the custom. The third one, which I will recommend, is the media. Now, the essence of this is it will do the download for you on your system. You might decide not to install today, or you have another system you want to do the installation on, not on this machine. I can actually use the download media. This will just do the download for me. I can go back there, what I downloaded, installation process. So permit me to go with this, but you can actually go with any. They are all the same. I've explained why I'm going with this. Now on getting here, select the language. So I'm actually going with English. The next to download, he wants to know, are you downloading the express call? Just the thing alone. You want to do the express advance. This is bigger than this. They added until like that, and also the reporting, the SRS, the reporting service is also embedded in this. So for those of you that have enough space on your hard disk and you feel like exploring the other features, then you can go with this. But you can just go with the minimum one and you are up and running. So for me, I will go with this. Now, the essence of this particular media download that I'm following is to help me download somewhere. I can say download it in my download folder. So all I need to do is to click on download. If I like, I may not do the installation or configuration today, but any of the previous ones, it will complete the download and take you through the installation process. So I will just click on download and allow this to download on my system. I have already done the download. Let me come to my folder. So I have the SQL Express 2019 downloaded. So let me launch this. Now, when I click here, oh, there is still a background noise. There is still a background noise. And, okay, thank you very much. So, now, back to my screen. If you take a critical look at what I have downloaded, all I need to do is to run through the installation process. But permit me to use one of our screen. Please, if you are on this call and you have it downloaded and you ready to share your screen with all of us, please show by a raise of hand. Quickly share your screen. Let's run through the installation process together. Is there any of us on this call? That can wants I, us to can use. I, can I ask a question, please? Please go ahead. Um, between basic and the custom and the um, media, um, was which one did you click on? I didn't see the um, the your screen keeps so, hanging. I don't know. I actually went with media. Right. I went with media, and I gave reason why I'm going for media. You can go for basic. Basic is just the major, the major database engine. You can go for the custom. The difference between basic and custom is that custom will be asking you question as it's guiding you through the installation process. Basic, we just use the default to get it up and running. But the media will allow you to download the file first on your machine. Then you start the installation process. So the installation process can go so that you can learn. So the media is what I will recommend so that we can all learn. So like what I have done, I've downloaded the, the media and this is what I have after the complete download. I downloaded just the smallest one, the engine. And there is a challenge Excuse here. Me, it's telling me, hello? Yeah. Excuse hello? me, sir. I'm trying to, yes, I'm trying to download. I'm trying to use the basic, but it's telling me that, um. A few things need to be taken care of first. The SQL Server 2019 setup requires um, um, Windows management instruments. So I don't know what, how to mm. go about that. Yes. Good. Now, so during the installation of SQL Server, because we are using the latest version, there are some things that should be on your system if they are not there. 
is going to stop you and ask you to get those things on your system before you continue the installation. So all you need to do, you can read the detailed information given to you. It will always guide you on what next to do. That is that. Is that. But for some people, no complaint. It will just flow through the process. So thank you. Um, you can look at I, the detail I, and see you know, what I've you can seen, do. Seen everything I, have, you wrote, but I don't really know what to do. Because it's not today I've been trying to do this thing. I'm, I'm always stuck at this point. So when I saw this Whoa. program, I was so excited about it that at least today I'll be able to, you know, solve this redo. I've been trying to learn SQL for a while, but at this point I couldn't download and keep saying this. So that's why when I even saw this opportunity, oh, I said, fine, okay. the program for me. So I really need help so, here. How so, to Olu, a Olu, I can be no problem. We may actually go with your screen if that will not drag outside the meeting time. I can see one hand up. Somebody raise the hand, please. Let's have you. Yes, yeah, sorry, it's not. I was just trying to ask. Uh, I installed with basic, so do I need to uninstall to install with the... No, 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 it's okay. Any of them is okay, please. Any, okay. we fly. Thank you very much. So, okay. So, Oluwakemi, can you share your screen? Let me stop sharing. Olua, can you please? You have the floor. I'm coming. Please hold on because I was using my phone, but I'm trying to connect with the system now. I'm joining with my system now. Oh, with your system. Okay, do that. No, Is sir. there anybody that can help us? If you know you, you, you want us to look at your screen and run through the process with you, please volunteer. Because I already have it on my system. I really want to solve problem before we leave here today. If you have challenge, quickly let's take this off. Oh, it's I can off. see one hand up. Please, we have the floor. Hello, Corede. You can share the screen. Oh, I already can hear me. We're having about 15 more minutes, please. Can somebody just volunteer? We want to install and configure together. Okay, Adeshola, thank you. Good. So have you done the download? Do you have it on your machine now? If you have it, let's see it and let's install together. Please, can you see my screen, sir? Yes, I can see your screen. So, SQL Server 2019. Scroll up. Yeah, I've already done Okay, you've it. downloaded it. Go, go back to your download folder. Go back to your download folder. It is the first thing you will see in your download folder. Then as it, okay, double click on it. Now, when you double click on it, you type it. This is the process. We ask you which of these do you want? Yes. Exchange. For you to have the full experience, full knowledge, full hands on, I would recommend the media. The media will download for you full SQL server. But you can click on it. When you click, click on it. Thank you. When you click, it's asking the next question. Do you want the express call? Just the database engine, or you want the advanced? That means it's bigger, it's more robust. That one comes with the full test search and also with reporting service. Yeah. So you can go with any of the two, but just know that one is bigger. It will take your window and your space on your system. The other one is just core. So it depends on you. Going with the more robust one, fine. Select and click on download. So you will start downloading the real installation file. So we won't be able to wait for this process to complete. But this is about 70, 700 meg. I don't know how long it's to take. Oh, it's fast. This is good. So I will actually wait for you as we entertain questions. So this will download in few seconds now. Another question. 
And like as he's doing the download, as he's doing the download, read what is at the bottom. I enjoy that. Read what you have there, and you can work with that. So thank you. David, you answer so. David, answer so. Yes, sir. I have a question. You mentioned something about um, clustering and monitoring. Ah, uh, sorry, mir mirroring. Yes. In um, SQL, yes. what do you exactly mean by clustering and mirroring in SQL? Good. One of the major feature of SQL Server is its availability. It's always available 24/7. Now, clustering. I can actually work around clustering and mirroring on my database in the sense that I have a database primary one set up and have another secondary one for the purpose of failover, for the purpose of availability. In case there's a problem with this server, no, none of my staff should know that we have a problem. Quickly switch, failover. So we can connect more than one server together, working together as one. But one is actually the main one. The other one is just keeping everything that is happening on the first one. In case that first one have a problem, the second will come up and start running. So that is what we mean by mirroring and clustering. I hope I've answered your question, please. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Only that Mola hand is up. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Only that Mola, please. You have the floor. All right. Thank you very much, sir. I really enjoyed this class. I want to ask if we are going to have the record, the record for this time, because I couldn't join as I saw the I, I saw this link very late, so I just joined not quite long. I don't know if there is going to be a provision for the recording, sir. Okay, Oinda Mola, please, we can assure you, our program manager is listening to you, so she will make sure you gain access to this. She has been interacting with most of us on the call. Her name is Anne. If you check the the message, you will see that there. And please. If you are not part of the WhatsApp group, she will, she will share the WhatsApp link on this platform. Just click on the link and join the WhatsApp group. So we, that's where we communicate, we interact with each other. So we are fully welcome. So we've completed our installation. Let us do the configuration together. So please, can you, if you like, can close, you can click on the open folder, any of the two you like. So just go ahead, additional. Open folder, good. When you click, it will take us to that folder. Look at the second one, it's bigger than the first one. That is a real installation, the download you have. So hit that button and let's start doing our installation. Everybody, please pay full attention. So this is where we always have challenge when we get to SQL Server. Because from next weekend, we are going into using this platform. Okay, I'm waiting for this to start up. Is it running? Hello, yes. Shola. We choose directory for extracted file. Should I okay. click browse or okay? Ah, oh, good. Hold on. What do you say? Shoot directly for, just say, okay, let's put it in the default. It wants to extract, this is a compressed file. The first thing it wants to do is to extract it and start installation. So let it just say, okay, when you click on okay, it will extract it and installation process will start. Good, this is the extraction. This will give you full knowledge about the installation process. But if you go with basic, you may not, you, it will jump some of these steps. This step will be done for you automatically using the wizard on the installation parts. But we are not doing wizard here. We are actually doing it ourselves. So you will see how additional we get this up and running on our machine. So for those of us that are doing the same thing, please go ahead. If you have challenge, we will resolve it together. But if the time will not permit us, we can take our conversation to our WhatsApp platform. Okay, so Kemi, I remember you said you must get it solved today. Don't worry, I can give you extra few minutes after the section. Thank you so much, sir.
Okay, the extraction is done. Hold on, don't cancel. Victor Let it finish. Officer. It should start. Oh, okay, Victor, please feel free to ask your question as we to continue. Fantastic. Hello, Victor. This is where we are going. All right, thank you very much, sir. Victor, yeah. Also, I I logged in with my phone initially, so I just uh, switched to my system. So I had uh, I'm having some issues with the, the downloading stuff. So it's not Lua Camilo. I'm sorry, it's not Double I Low, please. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Victor, no no problem. Okay, so so cool. we can just try. The video will be available. We can actually leverage on it and yeah, move on with around. what we've done. So, but just make sure you get it done and let's take our conversation to the WhatsApp group. So Rashid and Anne, the organizers, they drop Mr. to the link on the there. You can click and move on. Okay. The, the, link, the, link, is already so, on the, the link is already on the chat room. So we have Mr. Steve uh, hands up also. Oh, go on. Okay. Mr. Steve. Steve, let's have oh. you. All right. Um, Agadeji, well done. Thanks so much for everything. Thank you yeah, very just, much. I just want to reconfirm something uh, because looking at the, you know, from the WhatsApp group, we weren't made okay. to realize that, you know, it's just download and download. So naturally, you choose the one that will just be fast. And then, uh, yeah, and of course, the basic one. Oh, you are smooth. okay. Please, if you have <laughs> chosen basic, it's the same thing. I yeah, just yeah, want I us know. to understand the process. That's why I'm going through this. Yeah, I want to, what I want to ask is that, you know, one one is, um, I remember you were talking about the size of the other one that led to this uh, complete installation now. So even the basic, does it, it carries the same um, size and everything, right? Oh, no. Please, the, the program we are running, the series we are running, we yeah. only cover your basics. Okay. No the, this other one she downloaded as reporting service. We are not doing reporting service. And okay. I remember I told the program manager, that's another series if you are interested in Microsoft Business Intelligence. Okay. With that another series we can pick up, but for this series we are on, we don't need anything outside the basics. Okay. No, Allah. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Okay. So, thank you. Can you make this screen bigger? There is one screen that pop up, SQL Server Installation Center. Can you... Click on the maximize button there. Thank you. Let's all of us have a better view of that. Okay. Now, please, anytime you are installing SQL Server, you see this interface. Now, what is the interface tell us? I want to install new this area, planning. Planning is to quickly check your system, tell you about the your basic requirement. So we don't need to go through that. The second one is the installation proper, which we are running through now. The third one is the I want to upgrade that version and do some basic things. That is that. The fourth one are some other tools, like the management studio that I said we should all download. So you can see those other tools you need for this guy to work. And also resources you may need to read. But because of time, let's go with our installation, please. We want to install new SQL Server standalone. Pick that first option. Pick that first option. New. Mm, look at it by the side here. Yes, click on it. Good. When you click, it said, please wait while Microsoft SQL Server 2019 setup process. Good. Now, on getting to this page, it's telling you to read the license and assets. So I don't think additional as any option now. Just accept and let's move on. Next. Now, it will quickly do a check on your system and tell you what and what you need for this to run. So it's telling you Windows management. This is the same error PEMI said she encountered that look it failed one of what is needed to move on so you always see view detail reports so if you don't pass this stage then we cannot continue so look at view detail report up there 
Um, but if there's sorry, any on the score that, yes. Sorry to interrupt. Mine went straight to um the Microsoft update part, not global rules. Oh, so that means he has checked all your requirements. Your system is actually ready to flow. Right. But for those of you that is stopping you there, please don't go ahead until you resolve it. If it's failed, you must resolve it. If it is warning, warning is yellow icon. If it's warning, don't disturb yourself. Just continue. If it's warning, it's just a warning. But because it is failed, you need to address this. Please, can you click on the view detail reports? Click on the view detail reports. When you click, so open with Microsoft Edge, open with a browser, it will give you all you need to do to get that requirement up and running on your machine. If you can get the requirement up and running on your machine, then you will continue. Because of time, I saw a pop up. We have less than five minutes. I will want somebody that have actually passed this stage. Somebody said he has gotten to the next one. Update. Please, can you share your screen if possible? Because there are um, some cases I want to show us during the configuration. Hello, you said? It, I, the past, I just said he skipped to Microsoft Update straight. Please, can you share so your screen? Share. Right. Please go ahead and share your screen. Now, for those that have this challenge, mm -hmm. so read this documentation and try to actually fix those challenge. It's just one or two things. And you can actually fix all the challenges if you always, if you always run Windows updates on your machine. So which I always recommend, run Windows updates. And now Windows updates, click on Start on your machine and type Windows updates. That is all. OK, so we are now on another screen. This is Jiboku. Am I right? Yeah, I'm Anu, trying to Anu pronounce Anu the name. Anu Anu OK, this is Anu's screen. So now she has passed the rule now on Microsoft Update. Now, the meaning of update is before you start the installation, do you want me to quickly go online and get the latest information that you are missing out? before I move on with the installation. So use Microsoft Update Check. So this check will help you check. If there's another update, it will bring it on your system. But if you don't mind, you can just click on what? Next to continue. So because of time, please, I would have recommended we do the update. I don't want us to take time again. Please click on Next. But for others, please do go via the update route. Now at those points, he has started the, the installation. He has come through the system. So download, update download, we skip that. Don't forget. The extract, we skip it because we have it to download. So the installation process is on now. It's in progress with the installation. So I just want us to complete this. Once to complete this, that is the end of our meeting today. So when we get to the end of the meeting, the recording will be stopped. So all that are challenges we have to address those challenges. So um, I have a question. during the installation, there, there are some questions that will be asked. Hello, you said what? Yeah, I have a question. Let's go ahead. Yes, so in the link that was sent to the group, I there were two different um, downloads that we're supposed to do. I know that this first one is the Good. one that we're currently doing for the exact, what is it this called? Is the the engine. Good. Okay. Remember when I signed my presentation, I said there are two things. The engine, which is the major mm -hmm. brain, working on now. This is a tool. It's called SSMS. with the engine. So the engine, after the installation, you do, you, you, there's no way you can use it unless you have the management studio. Are we together? So that yeah. one, anybody can install that. Even a boy of eight years old can install that. That one is not a problem. You'll be surprised that you can download and install that on your own. But this one is one that gives a dig. And that's why I want to pay attention and run through this installation process together with all of us. 
Any question? Any other question? No, I think I think that that's done because it just went off the screen. Oh, okay. Oh. It should not it should not just go off. It should yeah, ask us it some just, questions. Yeah, uh, please wait while it just said please wait while Microsoft it um, set up its processes the current operation. Okay. Let's wait. I'm not, I'm, I'm not seeing 2015 or 2019. Let's wait. Hello, you say what? No, I'm asking that sister. Am I seeing? It's 2019. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's just blur or it. Okay. So let's wait. We must get to the root of this today. So the link to install the studio. That's the second one. Can somebody share the second link on this platform? Okay. The link to install the management studio. Good. Project ah, why is it starting again? OK, just click on next. Idea. Please, everybody should pay attention here. Click on next because it's a warning. So we will not have a problem here. Now pay attention here. Before you start installing, it's asking me a question. What are the things you want to install? Number one, the first option that was picked there is your database engine. That one is key. If you don't check that first box, forget all what you are installing is useless. That is the database we are talking about. All other things I just add on. Do you want to have a replication server? You can set it up. Do you want to add machine learning services to this work? Python, Java, how you can set it up. Do you want to have your full stash? You can set it up. Scroll down. Is there another thing there? It's your choice. But what matters to me is that very first one. So I don't know if you need any other one. So what are other tools you want? You can pick all the tools you want. But so this is an Oluapos laptop. I will, if I want to have my way, I'll just say pick the first one. Like somebody asked, we have already installed basic. Basic is just the first one. And throughout this training, we are working on basic. That is the database engine. But let's allow a uh, Click on next. Let's move on with what you've selected. Click on next now. That, that's the thing. I didn't select it. It just came up selected like that. Yeah, by default. Don't worry. I know the default will pick something for you. So click on next. Yes, I have. Can you click on next? Okay, this is going. Good. Okay. Please, this is another attention I need you to, to pay at this point. It's not asking you, this Express version of SQL Server you want to install, it can come in two instance, default instance or named instance. What is the difference? The meaning of default instance, it inherits the name of your laptop, the server. Whereas name instance is for you to give it an additional name. So how do we go about this? So do you want prefer the name instance whereby you can express yourself and put any name you like or default instance? Default instance will inherit the name of your laptop or your desktop or your server. And that's what you'll be using throughout. If you change the name of your system, you also need to change the name. You tell other people to connect using the new name. So Anu, do you prefer a name instance where you can give it your own name or the default instance? The system should recommend. Let me give the name of the system. So I don't pick anyone you like. Anyone you pick. I can okay. give it a named instance. Name instance. Please, the name instance <laughs> allow you to put the instance ID. Right you can here. click on the instance ID. And so I can so. put my name. Like any kind of name. If you like, your choice. That's that's the instance. That's one of instance. You are free to put your name there. But if you go with default, it will recommend something for you. Okay. Okay. Don't I would I would suggest you, you put space. Okay. Just leave it together as one, or you can put underscore to separate it. Good. Okay. 
Now she has given the name she wants this to be. A. Now click on next. When you click on next, I'm waiting for the next screen to come. Okay. Um, okay. So now on getting here, it's asking me because you selected Java. Now, if it's the engine, we've passed this stage. <laughs> So because you selected Java, then you want to quickly set that one up. It wants to know the location to drop the your installation. Just click on next. Let's move on. For those that shows the basic one or just the engine, this will not disturb you. Move on. Let's can configure the server. Beautiful. This is the configuration of our server. It's telling you that for this server to be up and running, it's going to install the database engine. It's going to install the server launch patch. It's going to install the full time test because she selected it. It's also going to install the SQL server browser. How do you want all these things to run? Do you want them to run automatic or manual? But the last one is said disable. When you need it, you can enable it. So, you can actually set anything you want, but for the engine, it must be automatic, please. For the engine, it must be what? Automatic. Others is your choice. So automatic means when the system comes up, it should come up with the system and it's running. Manual means you have to go back there and run it whenever you need it. Disable means for now, don't disturb me. Don't even run, though you're on the system. So let's click on next at this point. Click on next. Click next. Good, it's telling us to please wait. Now the configuration has started. During configuration, it's asking me a question. How do you want to authenticate? Remember I mentioned something about security for SQL Server. You want it to use window authentication. The same ID you used to log into your Windows is enough to check into SQL Server. Or I want to use a miss mode. Use window authentication and also let me provide my own username and password. That's the miss mode. So I like going with miss mode, not just window authentication. So I know, do you just want Windows authentication or you want to have a miss of both? Yeah, if you say miss mode. Okay, let's go with miss mode then. If you go with miss okay. mode, it will now ask you that look, provide a password for any other account that will come in. But that account is a default account for the first time. And that account is called SA. SA simply means SQL Server System Administrator. So the password. So on your own, put a password there. If, if nobody has the password, nobody can connect. If you share the password with me, I can connect if your system is online. Please put a password there. Repeat the password down there. Good. Now, please always add your current user because you said Windows integration should also have access. Look at the button down there, add current user. Click on the add current user. Good. When you click, now click on next. That is talking about the authentication mode. After this, another one is coming up. Click on next. So, please, we don't have option accept. It's because you selected R, you selected Python. That's why this thing they are, are coming up. If it's just engine, we are done by now. So, for those of us, that you are adding the engine, please. You should have been done by now. 
And if you know you've completed the process and you're on this call, SQL Server okay. engine is running. Click on next, Did please. Click on next. Yes. SQL Server engine is running. Please install the management studio now. Don't wait for us. That one is simple. Anybody, I don't need to show you how to do that. You can do that. Just download it and start installing. But this one needs some little touch here and there. That's why I needed to run through this process with all of us on the call. Click on accept and next again. So the Python has been set up. So once it's done, click on next. Click next. Install fast. Machine learning. Can you see the screen? Yes, oh. I can see your screen. So installation parts. So just click on next. Okay. Uh, it's not giving me that option. Okay, so it was unable to contact the that's the machine learning part we picked. Uh, mm. this will give me issue. I wish I did not pick the machine learning part. So, okay, you know what? Just click on back and deselect, leave all the changing for all of us to have smooth from this time. It will not ask you the question you've answered before. Just click on back, back, back. Back, 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 back until you get to that point. So for the sake, back one more. Okay. So the future selection is where we are going to. So go back yeah. to future selection. When you get there, deselect, just leave the database engine so that we can get this one out. For all other ones, you need some basic requirements to get through those parts. Okay, okay we so are back to now. This select, uh -huh. leave only the first one, please. Leave our leave Python, leave full search engine, leave all take them out, take them out, take them out, take Python out, take Java out. Okay, yeah. Okay, so all these ones will not disturb. No, take R out. Check machine yeah, learning out, the upper one. What about this SQL server replica? No, you can leave that one. Take machine learning out. Machine learning up. Oh. Number three from the top. Number three from the top. Machine yeah, I'm, learning I'm, I'm click. It's hanging. I'm clicking on it, but it's not. It's not working. But it's okay, hanging. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's network. I think. Yeah, the network. And then. Okay. So if you can take out, just leave my engine and so that we can get out of it. Deselect the first, they are just the machine okay. learning. That's all. Deselect the machine learning alone. Okay, pick on select yeah, all at the bottom. On select all at the bottom. Unselect all at the bottom. It just keeps blinking. Oh. Ah. This. Are you sure you have enough, enough space on your system? No, no, Most she has definitely. a space, not the space. Most definitely, I do. Ah, this. I, is going I think it's the setup itself. Um, okay, okay. This will stop us. OK, so the major thing there is your mode. The second okay. one up after the mode is the, what is it called? The instance. If you know everything about the mode and the instance, and always add the current user during the installation, then you can have a smooth and perfect installation steps. So, any let me see if you if you have passed this stage till the end, 
please let me see your hand up. If you are past this stage to the end, let me see your hands up. Okay, so Latif, thank you very much. Who else? Oh, we have about three people that have passed In the house. stage. Okay. Gabriel, Gabriel thank Nen. you. Nena, thank you. So that's a good confirmation. So I will want the section to let's stop the recording of the section so that those that have challenges, we can take their questions from there. So let's stop the recording of the session. Okay, can we round up before they take the stop the recording?